Now, Simon, before we go any further, I'm sure you'd like to take this opportunity to thank your friends here at Premier Sports for being your good luck charm. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but Kev's not backed us in one, so I'm thinking him and hopefully he keeps that going as well. Do you know what? He's been saying to you he's doing that to help you out. He definitely didn't start the season doing that to help you out. I'm throwing him under the bus here, Simon. Oh, he's got to make a comment. I'll let him off. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, let's get some perspective on your season because to finish third and be pulling off performances like that, you must be so proud of yourself and your team. Yeah, well, they're doing it on the pitch, aren't they? They've done it consistently and... You know, for us, the challenge is, is keeping this going year on year. But yeah, there's a bit left to do this year yet. Tonight was a bit a bit scratchy. Obviously, we, we had blokes jumping out of the team and some blokes in there, different combinations. And yeah, we, we defended quite a bit more than I would have liked tonight. But yeah, in the end, we've come away with a pretty decent result, I think. The lads were saying in commentary, though, that yes, you defended, but you defended well when you had to. Yeah, I think their skill was off. I think that helped us a couple of times, a couple of dummy half passes that had they been on the money, they probably would have had us. So, yeah, a few lessons in there, but yeah, every, every, every week's a school week, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And how, how important, Simon, obviously, is that you know, defensive record, keeping it the way that you, know, you can see the four points today. You know, you know going into the playoffs, you know, are you one of these coaches that believes that defence is going to be the cornerstone of winning those big games? Yeah, definitely. At, at times, our goal line defence hasn't been good enough. And although it wasn't perfect tonight, I thought we showed the level of desperation you need on your goal I, line. I agree. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah. It's, a, it's a funny game at times, but I think our approach really is to try and play the long game because it, you know you might get to minute 60 and if you're in the game, you're going to have a bit of a say in it, aren't you? And we've got some quality attacking players who can score yeah. tries from all over the field, so if we can get our defence where it needs to be, you know, we certainly have a chance in most games. Yeah. Grixie, you said there were some players today playing for positions in the, in the playoffs. Who, who stood up for you today? Oh, um, well, we've got a few to select from, obviously, as I'm saying. We've got a fit squad, but... Um, Thought Will Calcott carried really well. He's uh, he's coming on nicely. To be fair, I thought Adam Tangata was great off the bench, but I thought Titus, who's obviously been missing since since Barrow, thought he came in and put a really good shift in for us there. Uh, but yeah, some good performers across the park. Nice to see Kyle Wood. Generally, Brandon takes the lion's share of the minutes, and with him not playing tonight, he got a good opportunity to get some under his belt. And I thought he's, he's starting to show a bit of a bit of the form we need in these coming games. And you said how important it was getting through it with a clean bill of uh, health, and, and did you do that tonight? I think so. There'll be the usual lumps and bumps, won't they? But we'll uh, we'll give them tomorrow off, considering that we're not we won't get home until late. Uh, but we'll check everyone on Thursday, and you know, and, and turn our attention to Featherstone and. And, it, and what it will be a really good tie to finish the regular season with at home. It certainly will. How are you going to prepare for that one, Simon? Uh, I think when we played Fev before, we played a bit submissive and and allowed them to dictate to us a lot. And we didn't really play our sort of brand and style of rugby, which if you go and sort of try and punch it out through the middle against a big big Fev team and don't stretch them, you're going to struggle. So I think we'll learn from that and try and try and challenge them plenty and, and see where that gets us. And Simon, obviously when the lads are out there, they have ultimate control over how they play, but you are involved so heavily in all that. And we've given you so much credit and rightly so throughout the season. How would you describe your coaching style? I appreciate that, but I won't take much of the credit. I think we've got, you a, never really, do, but you we've got a really good team. Um, good players, but a really good team behind the scenes as well. Good physios. Um, obviously, brother Scott, S&C and coaching, helping out with our backs, helping them move the ball early. And, and obviously we, we lost Liam, uh, Liam Finney went to Dewsbury. He played a big part in setting, setting us off in the right fashion and he was a really good influence on the Avs um, in pre-season, which I think laid a really good foundation for the season. But yeah, I think the general thing is we're all on the same page. Um, I don't really have to go into them too much. They know when they're not great, which is, which is really good because there'd be a problem if it wasn't. But yeah, they've got a really good mix, good people. They all train hard as well, which is the big thing. They're all willing to train hard and put it out there. So. Yeah, they've been a joy so far. Let's see how we go with these last little bit. And Simon, it's an exciting time of the year now. We're coming to the business end with the playoffs now, just uh, over the horizon, so to speak. If Halifax do perform at the levels that you probably know your team can perform at, and if they did the unthinkable, okay, and actually uh, managed to, to earn that right to be promoted, is Halifax ready for Super League? Oh, absolutely not, in my eyes. Um, but would we, would we be turning it down? Absolutely not as well. Um, Look, I think the club's been starved of that Super League status for a long time. Um, punched around, punched above our weight for a while at, at Championship. And, you know, we're probably a way off being ready for that in terms of... So, for example, if you use Featherstone, they yeah. have been a top four team for more than a decade, consistently, really. Yeah. And I think that's something we need to be looking to strive and achieve um, before we're actually ready for that big step. But, you know, there could potentially be changes coming in the game in, in the next little while, which, which could 
sort of change the face of it and it could get us back in that sort of opportunity for a full-time arena first um, would be great. But yeah, who knows, it'd be nice to dream and, and see where, it, where I'll take us. Well, yeah, I mean, it'd be you, a big task. You say it'd be nice to dream, but you certainly pitched yourself way, way up there. I mean, we've spoken so much about the two heavyweights of the championship, but to be third in the championship is no mean feat, Simon. No, certainly not. It's been a, a very tough season, very competitive season. Um, Lee have been brilliant and, and once upon a time I played in a team that, that was pretty good like that and, and dominated a lot and it's hard to keep your levels up there as well so I think they've done a great job and Feverson have just been their consistent selves as I already mentioned but those of us in behind them, uh, York, Barrow, Bartley, Sheffield have been really good as well so it's been a really competitive season and you know this one's got a bit to go yet but I'm sure year on year you're going to see it year on year in the championship. Well, Simon, you've been an absolute joy to work with and to watch. So thank you so much and huge congratulations again on tonight's win and also thank finishing third much. in the championship. Thank Best you. of luck with your quarterfinal home time. Thank you, thank you Simon. Thanks, Take Simon. care. Thank you.